Hey, hello there, Virgo. Welcome to my channel. This predictive card reading covers August 24th, 25th, and 26th. Let's see what kind of energy influences are coming through for you for this weekend. As a general reading, please only take what resonates with you. If you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe as I'm trying to grow my channel and your comment even earns you an entry to win a free reading. Thank you for those beautiful validations. Every free reading I've given out has had a positive validation. Thank you so much. Bless you guys. You can always check on the description box to find out more information. There's a lot of it. On with your reading, Virgo. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere of the weekend. It's the basis of the energies. It's the background. Seven of Swords, Virgo. The Seven of Swords. Someone is using evasive tactics. They're using discretion and discrimination. And some diplomacy. These things are required to gain an upper hand over a tricky situation. Someone is being sneaky and secretive. They're having to do some research. They're using skillful preparation and studying the competition. There's some caution in your dealings and some indirect communication. You'll need to use your wit to achieve your aim. You're gathering information. Be wary of overconfidence. And take measures not to lose something. You're doing what matters to to get your mental preparedness and gathering information. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. It's what might challenge you. The Four of Wands, Virgo. The Four of Wands is a celebration. This is good times, maybe even a coming marriage. This is a romance, a harvest, this is your home. This is pause and taking time to relax. There's stability. This is extremely positive. You get to enjoy life and reap rewards. You're looking back at your accomplishments. You've put in a lot of effort. There's something new soon coming. A happy time. You could be putting down roots or moving in together or purchasing a new home. Could be celebrating a birthday party, an anniversary, a housewarming. It's taking time to be grateful and happy. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Six of Swords, Virgo. The Six of Swords. This is a card of transition. This is leaving your troubles behind and there's smooth sailing ahead. This is the calm after the storm. Could be indicating a move or a journey, but this change will go smoothly. There's relief at what you left behind. Recovery and coping and getting by. You're slowly recuperating and cautiously hopeful. Could be moving. This is a travel card. Your fourth card, it's the future. It's the outcome. It's the results. The Three of Pentacles, Virgo. The Three of Pentacles. This is a card of collaboration. This is a lucky card. This is support from teamwork. And nice critics are going to teach you how to do it better. So you should listen to them. Because it's okay to ask for opinions. And people are coming together to make something happen. It's an early foundation being set. And there's progress. There's success through effort. And this new project is going to bring luck. And there's creative counsel. And you might even find you have some latent talents. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's what's unseen or underlying the issue. Another seven. This is a seven of cups. Stands for fantasy and imagination. The Seven of Cups. This is the second seven in your reading, which stands for news. This is fantasy and imagination. 
There's great creative potential. There's many options available. So many you have difficulty choosing. This is the gambler card, so do only what is 100% secure. There may be some people around you that are not truthful, especially since you have another seven, with that seven of swords. So you need to let your feelings guide you. And you're dreaming of what could be. There's multiple choices, so think before you jump in. Sometimes it's the lure of a get-rich scheme. So, so take some caution. Thank you so much, you guys. Please subscribe and visit me for your next weekend reading. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So keep it positive. Love and light.